The latest developments for your destination, even if you are returning to a place you visited before. For those returning to the UK, all passengers, including those visiting countries exempt from self-isolation requirements, if you travel at the moment, you'll have to bring a printout of a negative PCR test completed in the last 72 hours and also the required visa to your final destination. Boarding was on time and quick. You can pick up a water bottle as well as earphones with airplane plugs, adapter and a sealed pouch containing hand sanitizer, face mask and surface wipe. The Airbus 35900 was almost completely empty and we were barely on the runway when the plane already took off. On board you can have two hours of free complimentary Wi-Fi even in economy. It's only 30 megabytes of data however, but it's good for any text app or email. Just remember to disconnect the Wi-Fi when you're done so you don't use all the two hours at once. The flight time is more than 12 hours from London to Singapore. Every seat has a USB plug to charge your electronic devices as well as a 3 pong electric outlet for UK plug on front or below your seat to charge your laptop. I booked a seat on row 48 near the window and it didn't have a seat on front of me so the tray table was stored on the right armrest. Due to this the seat is probably slightly narrower than the standard seat, but the extra legroom might be worth it. I noticed the wind or engine noise was slightly more than the seats on front of the wing such as on row 45 and lower. A delicious lunch with marinated chicken and pasta was served about an hour and a half after takeoff. Each tray table also included a small mirror, as I didn't have a front seat. The entertainment screen was also stored below the armrest. The wide touch screen was fairly large at 11 or 12 inch. There was a wide selection of international movies and TV programs. They also had a feature which allowed you to connect your phone or tablet with the onboard entertainment system, so you can use your own device to navigate and watch feature films. All you needed was the Singapore Air app from the App Store and you can link your device by entering your seat number or a code that you can get from the screen on front. Even though I managed to get the device connected, the content didn't show up on my device. Two hours before landing in Singapore, breakfast was served. I chose the omelette which was delicious. We landed at Terminal 3 and those who were on transit were escorted to a closed off section of the terminal which had comfortable seats and places to have a rest before the next flight. There were a few vending machines for food and drink but you couldn't access the main part of the terminal. However, they had the option to order in food from a selection of restaurants at the airport which would be brought 20 minutes after you ordered it from the website. You couldn't browse the airport shops but you could order any items listed on the iShop Changi website provided you give them enough time to fulfill your order and bring it to the closed off transit part of the terminal. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see you next time.